our room it's a i would say it's a it's it's not we told we don't crank it up we're, we're talking very globally you know and trying to teach them we talk a lot about defenses and trying to get them to understand there it's the one position that the quarterback position that they need to know everybody so we talk about what the linemen are supposed to do and what the defense is doing and why they do it uh so over time that they have a good good grasp of everything going on in the field you know and so it's a, it is a laid back environment because we are all over the place we're talking about receiver play we're talking about running back what the running back should be doing with linebacker why is this defensive end doing this so uh so it's slow they, they're really lost when they come in here and they're young because the upperclassmen have so much more knowledge about the game but uh but you know it's, we keep it light we have a good time and uh and i think the kids enjoy it they learn so someone like Terrell, being that he's coming back as a, a starter, now he's had gone through the experience. What his what's his kind of role in the in the room, kind of mentoring people? It's changed a lot. I mean, last year it was interesting. I had a lot of old guys in the room. This year I have a 21 year old and a bunch of 19 and 18 year olds. I got I got four really young guys and one old guy. Luckily the old guy's got a ton of reps. So when I ask questions now, I have to tell Terrell he can't answer them. Um, you know, he always wants to answer them. I mean, sometimes I, I ask the harder questions to him and the easier ones that I know he knows the answers to just because I want to continue to develop the young guys. So he's definitely at, at a different point. You know, we have to keep pushing his development, but we still got to make sure that the young guys are. So I do ask some questions that I know he knows the answers to. I just preface them with, Terrell, don't answer this, and then I, then I ask the question. So with some of the younger guys, is there, is there a kind of a mentality that you're trying to impose on them that you want them to have when they enter the room? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, my rules are very simple. You know, it's just... The number one rule is ask questions you don't know at all, you know, and because and, they need to know absolutely everything. And there's no way to completely cover every scenario that might possibly happen on the field because there's 10 different things they might have to do depending on the blitz or the coverage or, or the rotation. So so we, we really try to get the young guys to realize that I do ask Terrell a lot of questions to get them to know how much he does know uh, to realize where they need to get to. You know, I want them to push to be soaking in everything. I make them write notes and we use every kind of learning tool we can. Uh, and try to figure out what, how, how each guy learns. Because some guys learn by writing, some guy learns by watching film. Um, I, we do a lot of standing up and, and doing signaling and, and stuff like that, and I show them what I want. So there's so many different types of learning, and you need to figure out what type, what type each guy is so we can move, bring them along quick. What's the mentality like in your meeting room on a day-to-day -day basis? Day-to-day -day basis, we, uh, we always start off, we're going to take care of our business. Um, we do have a little fun. I like for my guys to be a little loose. Um, we're not all work with no play, uh, but I feel like those guys do a great job uh, in the classroom learning. But we always have, it's a little loose, you know. Again, I, I try to, when it's time to work, we'll, we'll do our work. But we want to have some fun. We'll, we'll have some fun. Are there any natural leaders that kind of, uh, some maybe some upperclassmen that step up and, you know, mentor some of the younger guys in the room? Uh, uh, Tyson uh, Gully is one of those guys, obviously. And then uh, Adonis has done a really good job, too. Uh, from his knowledge standpoint, he's a really knowledgeable kid, has a really good grasp. Uh, Gully comes from the angle of he's played, he's been through all those battles. Um, and, and again, he's working really hard being a leader right now. And those guys are really, between the two of my older guys, have kind of done a good job following their lead. Are there any kind of rules for the room or things that the young guys should know coming into the room? Is there a mentality that you like to have? or? No, I think, uh, like, for instance, I have Urban Phillips. He's a young guy. He kind of sits back and he observes. I always kind of tell my guys, the younger guys, hey, sit back, watch what the older guys do. For instance, have a notebook, have a pen, take notes. Even if you've been here for four years, five years, there's always something I'll give you that can help. So I always just try to have them observe. Uh, we don't do anything. Rituals are certain seats guys like to sit in. If you're an older guy, that's probably the only other thing that I would say that's kind of a tradition. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty pretty simple. So how is the room arranged? Are there rows or younger guys in, in the back a little more, more younger guys towards the front a well, little more? Well, no, they kind of go where they like to sit. Say, for instance, Tyson Gully likes to sit to my left in the front. Uh, Adonis is across from him in my front. Uh, but maybe Irvin Phillips is in the second row. Coach uh, George Morris is in, in the back row, and Devontae likes to sit in the back row. So they all kind of spread out. I don't have the freshmen in the back. They kind of have a, like, a space they like to sit in, and that's kind of where they go.